it's Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to Log Hatchback 3 video. This video was a request from a viewer. I'm so very sorry, but I did not write down who requested it, and I can't find it in the comments. But whoever you are, thank you so very much for your request. I hope this answers your questions about this bag and its capacity, etc. Um, I'm not transferring into this bag today because I have something else in mind, but I will do a load test for you all. So let's take a look at what this bag has to offer. This one is in heather gray, so it is that sort of, um, I think it's a little more sophisticated fabric and look to it, but there you go. I have a thing for heather gray. I really do like it. Um, right away, you can see it does have a top carry handle. It is a backpack, so you do have backpack straps. These are not removable, but they are pretty generously sized for adjustability and they do have the no slip grip on the inside. So if you're like me that sometimes just wants to sling it over one shoulder as a purse backpack, um, that works great and it stays on there pretty well because of that. So, all right, since we're on the back, let's start there looking at this bag. So okay, you can tell there's stuff in here. We'll get to that, that's the fun part. Okay, so we do have one pocket here that's a uh, Velcro. I do wish this was a zipper or a magnet. I, I'm not particularly fond of the Velcro back here, but nonetheless, it is Velcro. It does cover this whole back panel. So you can see my hand all the way down to the corners. The thing about this pocket is it's a little bit slim, you know, so you can't put like thick things in there, fat things or whatever. Um, it does have a foam pocket right here on the top, nice magnetic closure and a soft lining. Definitely a great place for your phone. It has another pocket on the side over here, a nice zipper pocket, sort of discreet. This is a soft line pocket as well. And it goes all the way across and pretty much all the way down. So it's like from right here to right there where my fingers are. So it's a big pocket. Um, definitely nice and soft in there. So you could put your phone there, you could put your glasses, vice versa, etc. cetera. Um, so there you go, that's it for the back of the bag. Turning it on its side, we have the cargo pockets. These are magnetic, so even though they're elastic, the magnet keeps it discreetly against the bag when you're not using it, which is really nice. Here is a 16 ounce chuggy. This is um, obviously from Love as well. This is in Heather Gray, and this one fits very nicely right into that pocket. It doesn't really take two hands to put it in, but there you go. So, and it'll stay in there pretty well. I'm gonna take it out because we're gonna keep looking at this bag. So. Pockets on the front, you have a nice crescent-shaped zipper pocket here, which lends itself nicely to opening up and really getting accessible. You can see that pretty pattern on the inside that matches very nicely. And this pocket does have its own gusset, I would say about a finger width. It's not an obvious separate pocket there, but it really is. There's a glimpse at the bottom, totally wipeable. No feet, but wipeable plastic. Okay, so there's that pocket. This upper pocket is the same format, single zipper, but it's a little bit smaller, you can see that. And this one opens up just the same. No organization in these pockets. Again, you have about a finger width of gusset. You can see it a little bit on the side here. There's a seam. Um, so you can kind of see the beveled shape to it. All right, so that's it for the outside. This is the main entrance right here. Double zipper and into the bag. I grabbed a whole bunch of things to do a fit check, um, all Heather Gray. So I'm curious, um, now that we pull it out, whether we can put together a whole bag with just Heather Gray stuff. The answer is yes, by the way. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> so I have a Lily Gray, or sorry, Lily Black mask in a pouch. Got really nice placement on the pouch there. Um, so yeah, that's Log. That came in the set of three with my Bloom Black and Wildflower Black all excited choices. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna pull all this stuff out because we're not packing it today, but obviously all of this stuff fits. So we're gonna see what fits in which pockets and how best to organize it as we put it all back in. <laughs> and obviously we don't need three wallets, so clearly this is not necessarily a realistic load, but a load test nonetheless. Okay, so. Looking at the inside, on the back, you have two cargo pockets. These are both soft lined, so that's kind of nice. On the front, you have another big cargo pocket on the bottom half, 
and then the top half is a clear pocket with a zipper. So that's your inside organization of the bag itself. You also have tucked up here on the side, you have a key clip. It's not on a long lanyard, it's not a bungee, but it is a clip. So you can clip your keys or other things there so that they're quick and easy to find right at the top of the bag. Okay, so that is inside. I do think, it, I just think it's really pretty. It's one of my more preferable Heather Gray interiors. That one and the Paisley one I think are my favorite. Okay, so let's look at accessories that we have here. We'll go through the loved ones first. I do have some other ones I might would use if I was packing this today as a purse, which we might do soon, but not today. So we have the Tram Wallet. And this one has the same interior, so definitely a good match there. And so that's one wallet option. Another wallet option, we have the Tandem Zip. I do like this wallet, but it frustrates me that this zipper zips backwards. So I need to put a formal thing in for Lug to change that, because otherwise I'm not buying a whole lot more of these because I don't like that. It bothers me. But Nice pen slot right down the middle. You've got your two sides. And there's the Paisley pattern I was talking about. This will be a nice travel through Heather Gray interiors because there's some different ones for sure. But anyways, there you go. And tandem zip. I want to say this might even be SE. I don't remember if there's an SE in this. Ooh, ooh, I have a loose thread. Okay. Don't mind that barking. That's Kelly outside. I don't know. Someone's walking by. Okay, the third wallet option, which is admittedly my favorite. I am a big, big fan of the Splits XL. This one also is in Heather Gray. The Splits XL has your external coin pouch. It's got two zippered entries. Your first is your flat side. You've got a pen elastic. You've got your clear view plus a few more slots. You got this spot right here, which I actually used as a cash drawer when I used it but you can put your phone there. And even my big 6S Plus phone fits very nicely. Hi, Kelly, come on, come on. Yeah, oh, oh not on the table. <laughs> That's my girl, what are you barking at? Hmm? Oh, yes, I know, okay. Yeah, anyways, so your phone fits very nicely and that zips up really well. So I love that about this as well, that I can use it as my grab and go and it does come with the wristlet. The strap is removable, so if you don't want that on there, you can take that off. Or if you want to use that for your coupe, for example, there's one place to cannibalize it. It's a skinnier strap. You can also cannibalize it from your tandem. Yeah, lots and lots of options. <laughs> or for that matter, I suppose you could make this into a wristlet, but I, I, I wouldn't. But anyway. So the interior of this is different. This one is your foulard. Yeah. And then the back part is like an accordion style with lots and lots and lots of card slots everywhere. It's great. And two big slips back here as well. So really, really great. I love this wallet. Obviously, I haven't used this particular one in Heather Gray, but I have used multiple others. I do like the handspring. It zips backwards, though, so not my favorite, but I do like it a lot. I do have the coin purse. This is the round one. I put my own carabiners on these because they come with the key ring. I don't like to have to thread that over things. So I bought a bag of these from Amazon in all different colors and I just pick a color that I like that matches. I'm thinking I probably should change this to a black one. It's a match better, but whatever. The inside of this is gray. It's another new interior to compare to. Also in this same vein, I have a heart pouch. Now this heart pouch is in brushed gray, but I don't have a Heather Gray heart pouch. I don't think they made them. They might now, I don't know. But on the topic of heart pouches, Lug is having a um, promotion right now where if you spend a certain amount, I think it is, you can get a heart pouch. And I don't know the threshold for that. I haven't, haven't ordered anything in a couple days couple whole days. Anyways, the heart pouches, if you zip them all the way open, they zip all the way and they open really wide. This one has that floral interior as well. Inside, it's really pretty. But if you open them all the way, then you can, but your coins will fall out, see? Um, because there's a hole in the bottom. 
But if you have coins in there, for example, and you don't want them to come out, just don't unzip it all the way. Just unzip the top half, it works great, and your coins will stay in there. That will tip it. But the heart pouch is great for, I mean, it's big enough to hold credit cards and other cards, so you can use this for a lot, a lot of things. And it has its own clip on it, so I didn't have to add a carabiner. So there you go, two options. They don't match perfectly, but I think the brush gray coordinates very, very nicely with the heather gray, and that's why I went ahead and grabbed that pouch. All right, then we have a choo-choo. This is heather gray, obviously heather gray, um, but inside is the foulard again, and there you go. So we just looked at the choo-choos in the haul video I just did. Um, okay, then we have runway envelopes. This is the two-piece set. These came in four different colors, I mean, maybe more in the past, but when I first discovered Lug, this was actually the promotion at the time, and I think it was you spend $100, you get a pair of runway envelopes, and you got to pick the color. It was Concord, black, gray, and heather gray is what I think it was. Anyways, I have a couple sets of each now because I bought a lot when I first discovered Lug, and that's continued. But these are great. I use these all the time. Like, you'll see them, in fact, in my current bag right now has one of these in black. But the small one is a great size for just about any purse that you can imagine. It does fit very, very nicely. Oops, sorry. Get back to the fit checks. See this bottom pocket right here on the hatchback? This fits very, very nicely right inside that pocket. No problem. In fact, you can put multiples. The bigger one is just a little bit big. I mean, width-wise it fits, but you can see the corners of it stick out. So it really doesn't fit inside that pocket. That being said, let me just put this back inside here for a sec. So inside the bag though, you have those two big cargo pockets back here. That is just a little bit too small for the runway envelope. It does fit, but it, you squeeze it, squeeze it in there. The pocket in the front, however, is way too small to fit it like this. So this, if I was using it, would just sit very nicely across the bottom and that would work great. On the subject of pouches, here are the Heather Gray transports. Um, yeah, love, love, love the transports too. So let's see, these have three sizes instead of two, but if you look at the sizes, the small and the small, and the medium and the medium, they're roughly the same size. So there you go. So these will fit the same way that those fit in the pouch slots. Um, and then this big one, of course, obviously isn't going to fit in any of the inside pockets. You most definitely can stand it up this way, and you also can stand it up this way inside the bag. Now let's check this back pocket. All right, so if I want to put this in there, it fits very, very nicely, and if you want, you can leave the loop sticking out. Now, it fits very nicely, but even if I tuck that loop in, the Velcro just barely touches itself and barely catches. That's okay because, you know, if you're using it as a carry bag, it really isn't going to come out, but just know that that would just be an open, open pocket then. But it fits very, very nicely there. Oh, wait, hang on. Ha! Disregard everything I just said about the Velcro. Because with the little fold that was in there, I didn't have the, the transports all the way down. And in fact, now that that is pushed down, the Velcro will close completely. Okay, that's good news actually, sorry. Um, okay, one other tidbit of test here. You do have this soft line pocket. Let's see if this fits in here. Height-wise, yes. And Width-wise, no. See that? It's just a little bit too big, but that means the smaller one will still fit in that pocket if you chose, which is cool. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so fit checks, fit checks. Let's go back to the wallet since we missed that. We've got the Splits XL. Let's see if it fits in this front pocket. Very, very nicely. Um, don't mind the tag, sorry. In fact, let's tuck the tags into the pocket here. 
Okay, so the Splits XL with its handle on there fits perfectly right in that small pocket on the front. It won't fit in the upper one because it's too wide. That fits the tandem, also fits very, very nicely in that pocket and too wide for the upper. The tram, on the other hand, let's see if that will fit up here. It does, in fact, fit in laterally, but you can see my fingers are right here on the corners of it. It, maybe if you, oh, haha, -ha, yes it fits. And here's how, because this upper is hooded. See that, my fingers underneath. So it's a hooded pocket, so yeah, it does. It fits inside there very nicely, actually. You just get it in widthwise, and then you just run your finger under the top and tuck those corners in, and now you can use that upper pocket. So, let's see. That pocket is not RFID, in case you're wondering. And the bottom one is, though. So. No and yes for RFID on the pocket itself. All right, so that covers all that. Obviously the pouches fit in everywhere. Now the other thing I'll say about the pouches, coin pouch and the heart pouch, <clears throat> they don't, there's not like a clip thing, like a loop to clip them onto. So you have a couple of options. You could, <clears throat> excuse me, let me zip up all these pockets here. The zippers do have um, like a hole in the end of it. See that? Can you see that? If against my face, you can see there's a hole right there. So I suppose you could, like for example, on this little pocket, let's see, it doesn't fit the carabiner, but it might fit the clip here. Fits the clip very nicely because it's a flatter edge. So there you go, you could hook a nice little heart pouch right on that zipper. The zipper still functions fine, um, but it stays right in the like, middle of the bag, which is really cool. And even if you wanted, you could tuck that heart pouch into the pocket if it's swaying around too much or something, if you wanted. Okay, so that works. I could put a different type of clip on here. I could also use that there. Um, I probably wouldn't though. I probably would actually just use the heart because I like the contrast of the color just ever so slightly on that. Okay, so the last item that I did not talk about yet is this beautiful little roundabout two in Heather Gray. So I'm gonna sit down this backpack for just a second. Um, this is one of those convertible crossbody wristlet belt bags. So there you go. It's kind of like a, a larger version of the coupe, but it has much more to offer than just being a little bit bigger. So there's your adjustable removable strap. You got a pocket back here that's just a slip pocket. You have pocket on the front, which opens up. It is soft lined, it's great. And the roundabout two is slightly bigger, this front pocket. So it does just long enough to fit my phone, which is perfect fit right in that pocket. I love that. I actually need to, I need to use this bag. <laughs> there are so many bags, I bought them all at once. And I'm going nuts trying to use them all in rapid succession, but I just don't want to change bags every day. And I just love all the stuff. So I'm working my way through the piles, but it's going to take a while and it's fun. Okay. So I'm not complaining at all. Um, this has a double zipper. It opens all the way down on both sides and it opens up really nicely. So if I was crossbody or belt bag, this just opens right up. Very, very accessible. It has a soft line pocket right there in the back. It has this space here. It has a zipper pocket right there. So you can use this as a built-in wallet. You can put your change in there. And then on the front side, you have the cash drawer, big slip. And then you have eight slip pockets here for card slots. So there you go, four and four. And then opposite that, you have four more plus a clear ID. And on the back side of the coins, you have nothing there, but you can certainly fit a lot of stuff in here. So if you're not using the built-in, a couple other things of note. One, you can put your pouches on the outside, of course. You can use your tandem wallet, put that. Doesn't really fit in the front. Let's see if it'll fit in the back. Mm. 
No, that's a no. It doesn't really fit in there. But your tram will fit in the front very nicely. It will also fit in the back very nicely. Um, not if you have the back full of things, of course. And then the Splix XL is a no for this, no. But this itself is almost the size, I mean, it's not that much bigger than the splits. so yeah. I think I might, if I was using this as a grab and go, I might actually pack it as a wallet and um, wallet plus and use it as a small crossbody. So here we go, we have a mesh pocket on this side that's totally plastic on the back, very, very wipeable and has its own gusset there as well. Um, this one has quite a bit of space, almost about two and a half finger widths of space in here. And it also has four, yeah, four elastics. So you could use those for, um, well, you could use them for makeup. You can use them for chapstick, lip gloss, sanitizer. You can put pen there, all sorts of things. But nice gussets on both sides. And when you have the whole thing unzipped, I mean, look at how it accordions out. It's just a great, great bag. Really a lot of fun. And I'm looking forward to trying it. I have a few of them now because I like them so much. And there's another one in my shopping cart. So, yeah. All right. Ooh, let me put this back in here. Um, I'll put it in the back pocket. Okay. So, roundabout two. Then, does this fit in this front pocket? I'm gonna say no, but I'll try it. Yeah, that's no. No, it does not. No, it does not. But it fits inside the main pouch. So if I was to pack all this stuff back in here, let's look at what we got. We've got a roundabout two. We've got a choo choo, go right down in the bottom as well. We've got transports, set of three. And I'm gonna put those in this back pocket. And we've got the runway envelopes, set of two. Those can go down here in the bottom. We've got splits. Oh yeah, that doesn't fit there. We've got tandem and tram. We've got pouches and mask. And everything is inside. And there is oh so much more space to go in that bag. So this would definitely work for just about any occasion for me. And I, I really need to give it a try. So that is it for the test load. Obviously, I didn't put like my own little cosmetics and stuff. But for sure, I would fit all my things in there because some of that would not be in there. Um, but I hope that was useful. Before we go... Let's look at a few more items I might use with that bag, just a mix of accessories. The first is I have a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. It's this adorable bunny that he really doesn't even have eyes, they're just hidden by his, but he doesn't have them, they're not there. Uh, but nose and whiskers and then the hand sanitizer in the bottom and it clips on really nicely. So on this bag, um, because there's not really a clip, I didn't really want to clip it here, but I could. Let's see. Now this clip is too fat, just like my carabiner was, but I could clip it on this upper loop there and then it can just hang like that. If I chose to use that, and I'm gonna leave this up here for a second. Then I have some pouches from Cinda B. Um, Cinda B is very Vera-like, if you will, in fact, but it's made in the US and this is a cute little cosmetic and it's also in Heather Gray. So I thought maybe just curiosity's sake, would it match? It does match, it's, it's, it coordinates, let's say. It doesn't match. It's a little bit lighter and a little bit more textured, but not too unlike this. This is more smooth, this is a little more coarse, but it's a great size pouch. I mean, this cute little pouch, so I just thought it might fit really well, like up in here, things like that, so yeah. That's an option. Also from Cinda B, I have this pouch. It's thin profile, so it's kind of like a runway envelope, but it's shorter. Um, this is called the Happy, I think it was, Happy. And they, just like Lug, they have these really nice zippers, they're really smooth, 
nice zipper pulls. Um, yeah, inside of this is just a black nylon. So it's wipeable, but it's not plastic or anything. Great purse organization. I think it is too wide to fit in that pocket, but would certainly fit inside. Also, I have this little thing. This is like an everyday organizer, it's called. And this is really kind of nifty. I, I don't think it would be optimum for everyday use in my bag. It does fit in the backpack. It also fits in that back pocket. And it has these little pouches. They're all clear view on the front, privacy on the back, but little zippered pockets. So there's your Heather Gray interior, but the others are black. And then in the back, I have it upside down, but <laughs> it has a slip on there with the three pockets. And then you have mirror image on the other side, three pockets there. And then this one doesn't have, I, I think it should, honestly. I need to talk to Cindy D about adding a <laughs> Why not make a full mirror, right? Why can't it be? But anyways, so fun little thing. It does bulk up when you fill it. It's great for thin, low profile items though. So yeah, I think it's great for travel. We'll see about the everyday. Obviously I haven't used that yet because the tag's still in it. And then from Vera Bradley, I also have the Reactive Cosmetic Duo. I, I don't think that's what it's called, but let's see, I think, yeah, I don't know the name of this. I think it's, I think it's the cosmetic duo, if you will, but it's the reactive cosmetic pouch. And so this is made from recycled bottles. So you're saving the world and you're having a great waterproof bag, um, cosmetic. It's plastic on the inside and it's got this nice pretty floral pattern. You can see, obviously it's silica pouch. Um, it is a little bit rigid, but it, it, it's, you know, it still can flex a little, but it's a pretty good size. This would work great inside this bag. And again, it's a little bit lighter and a little bit coarser texture. I think this one actually matches better with this, but you can see there's three different colors. So sort of a lightest, a medium, and a darker, but I think they coordinate nicely. And then the bigger one, you could fit inside there. Probably not gonna fit much else if you did that, um, but it is, it's a large cosmetic size. So kind of like a large cosmetic with a medium built in. Yeah, and then it has the clear view, of course, which is kind of cool, so there you go. And that is all of the things that I brought out to share with you for now. Um, yeah, that's it for that. So Hatchback and Heather Gray, kind of a show I do. Um, in my other haul I just got, this is still sitting here because I just did that. There's a trolley crossbody. So a lot of these accessories would also go very well with that, of course. So lots more Heather Gray to share. One of these days I'll sit down, pull it all out, and just do a Heather Gray collection. Hi, right, come on. He's back. Oh, get your foot off the table. Manners, Missy. Manners. Okay. All right. Bye for now. Washy, washy.